Doop skilly doo. Talk time. <laughs> right off of that. Um, I want to talk about some of our most favorite and interesting vacations. Because, Nick, I don't know where you've ever been. <laughs> no one I don't really know. knows much I about don't it. know <laughs> what you've done. I know Mike's gone to Greece. Kevin, is, I know he's gone to Arizona. Cool. The desert. <laughs> it's fascinating. Shoot some guns. I really want to go there. So. Uh, it's, yeah. it's awesome. Dude. Well, I want to know where everyone's been a little bit. And I want Nick to start because I don't know yeah. where. I, c- well, I couldn't tell you one place that you've been. I First off, let's go. Oh, no. You went to Pittsburgh. I did just go to yeah, Pittsburgh. Because you just weekend. went there. Yeah, <laughs> with my wonderful girlfriend. Um, let's go back to kindergarten, though. Oh, Kit- Jesus. Flat Stanley. <laughs> what does that ring a bell flat yeah. stanley no. no what the fuck flat stanley was this little like uh book <laughs> slash caricature and kids in kindergarten uh, you're gonna get the background give me the background i'm gonna look them up flat, real quick. St- flat stanley you would you would create your flat stanley you know you, you, <laughs> Wait, you made your flat stanley. yeah he was literally, Wait, kevin you know what he's talking about yeah, yeah. you'd make a, a flat little stanley guy and be a humanoid type person You'd laminate it, and then you'd send it to, like, friends and family in different places, and they'd, like, take a picture and write a letter <laughs> with the Flat Stanley and stuff. And they <laughs> I'm going to put the see what the I'll put the picture well. over the podcast. Is that what it is? Well, mine looked different, but that's the idea, yeah. That's the All general right, I'll idea. put it over. That's something. Okay. See, you don't even it? tell us that you lived vicariously. I lived through vicariously <laughs> through my <laughs> Flat Stanley. <laughs> what does everywhere. that mean? My Flat Stanley went everywhere. We should, you'd, send him in the ma- you'd send him in the mail. You'd send him through the mail. Who'd you send him to? <laughs> family members that lived in other parts. Like Who I, I have family in New York. I have some family apparently out west. I have a cousin but what, in Texas. What does that mean? You wrote a note on there and then they it, would write you'd back? Send, you'd send mail. Like normal physical mail. Yeah. Envelope you open it. <laughs> no, it would be like it would be like you know you know Nicholas and Esther in kindergarten handwriting. You know, Ten Ashland Drive, which is no longer my residence. So, like, please, don't, please don't ever go to that. I mean, house, they can go God there, forbid. but there's who no, knows wanna, who lives there. I don't want to condemn the individuals who are there now, but so sorry. Anyways, um, so yeah, Flat Stanley went everywhere. <laughs> And as a result, vicariously, I, I went everywhere. Well, that's why I had to come back, because I felt like this was the appropriate time to share that story. <laughs> Anyways, coming back to reality, let's see. <laughs> I've been to the Florida Keys. For what? Vacation. I went there for a wedding. Went there for that's what poisoned me now. I want only destination weddings. So if any of you guys get married to a destination wedding, they're dope. Yeah, we'll see about that. Anyways, um, <laughs> they're good. so Florida Keys. And all the s- subsequent uh, states through it because we drove and whatnot. Subsequent. I'm going to say it how I want because the people will understand it nonetheless. Fair enough. The, the point of language is to Here express meaning. Okay. And Stanley. if you understand what I mean, then that's all that matters. I mean, keep going because you're Anyways. not going to peak your original story. Anyway. You should have ended with that. <laughs> no. <Yeah. laughs> no way. Um, so anyways, Florida Keys, uh, all the states. When was that? Through it. That was... Because that's what I'm saying. In the time where we've been... Re- all right, so of high school. The, that's about the time we got started to yeah. become close. I was around high school. Um, I went to Europe. That's a big one. I went to oh, Italy. Oh, fuck yeah. You went on that hype trip. in France, yeah. Shit. Um, that was great, but I got pretty sick in Italy, so I didn't really get to enjoy it too Why? much. But we went to... I Stomach? Got sick. Uh, I don't know. Like, no, not like, like throwing up sick. Like, literally contagious oh, sick. Yeah, something like that. I wasn't used to that environment of, uh, you know, biological material and whatnot. And <laughs> mom's spaghetti. Bacteria. Mom's spaghetti, all that. Um, so Florence, Rome, uh, Pisa, and the Leaning Rome. Tower. Yeah, we went to the Leaning Tower. He didn't know. Very good. Um, <laughs> in case you didn't know, Mike, I said uh, that for else? you. Okay. <laughs> we went, we went to Switzerland, which was lovely when we went to, oh, I forget the t- what the town was called. I want to, I heard Switzerland. It was beautiful. That was, that was, I'm, you know, I'm half Italian, but Switzerland was probably my favorite. My girlfriend, Nicole, Honestly. who's not in this room or anything, but has been on the show before, is going to Switzerland in August, and I'm quite jealous. F- It'll you. be a great time. <laughs> F have, her wherever uh, she is. They, they have <laughs> the highest uh, a suicide rate. Su- Switzerland? Really? No, they don't. <laughs> 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 Something people would believe. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's a random factoid that is not really a factoid. But factoid. Did you ever hear about the suicide song? What? It's really fucked it's up. Is that train? Dude. Or you should look it up. My one site class told me about it. The band train. No, don't they have like some sort of song that's like? No. She. You know. She. Oh my gosh. I fucked the dog in the ass. That's Blink One Eighty Two. That's not the song <laughs> I'm looking for. I will play it for you guys after this. And you'll understand what I'm talking. But any users, you guys should research it. It's uh. 
my one psych professor told me in freshman year of college, it was like this Russian song and this band created it. And every time this song was played, like the suicide count just rose and someone killed themselves. It's like really fucked so up. Why, and he why played it suggest, in our class. Why he, would you suggest yeah. that we check this song out? No, well, He's I mean, like, yeah, this makes I, people commit suicide. Here you go. But it's <laughs> so scary that like someone made this song and it's just like the, t- like you ever hear of like the brown note? Or like there's this yeah. musical note that makes you shit yourself. <laughs> You've not, yeah, that was like a South Park bit and stuff. I don't did recall. You, no. Did you just say excuse me because you laughed like a schoolgirl? <laughs> <laughs> You're something else, I did, Nick. I did. But yeah, all right, sidebar about the suicide so, song. Continue, Nick, save us. <laughs> so anyways, so yeah, Italy, Switzerland, and France. And France was kind of just like... Really just a not as fun New York City, honestly. <laughs> Did you go to Paris? Yeah, I went to Paris. Um, and again, you know, it's cool to see the Leaning Tower. It's cool to see the Louvre, however it's said. I but the, it's the, bomb. the rest of it, the rest of it just seemed like New York City, honestly. Um, it was dirtier, honestly, as well. But uh, really? in my opinion, yeah. So I wasn't crazy about it. Plus, at the Eiffel Tower, there are people with like AKs or AR-15s, rather, H1Z1. Uh-huh. And yeah, um, that's, that's how it was with in Greece, though. Like police officers had like they were fully armed. Automatic. Yeah. So uh, so yeah, that was uh my Europe trip, my only Europe trip. I'd love to go back and and you know I want to travel the world. You know I'd love to travel with Rach and all that, and that'd be great. And a lot of my traveling recently has been with Rach. Like I've been. I don't want to go anywhere with you, so it's okay. I don't want to go anywhere with you either. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to. I barely want to be here, <laughs> honestly. Um, but anyways, so. Boston, you know, I've been to Boston now. I've been to Worcester, which is the second biggest city in Massachusetts. Um, we've been to uh, Maryland. We went to uh, like Baltimore. Um, we've been to Pittsburgh as of most recently. Philadelphia, New York City. Granted, I've been there before on my own. Continue with every town you've ever went to in your life. Well, I mean, those are you know, I that's I'm talking about like big spots, states. like big things, like. I feel like Pittsburgh was a big one. It's a big right? one. It's a yeah. yeah. city, right? It's Steel City. Yeah, that's what it's called. Philadelphia, though, that's just like, that's a city. Did you stay in Philadelphia? We did not stay See, in Philadelphia. See, that's what I'm saying. I want to like You want place. somewhere that we stayed, stayed. overnight. Yeah. Well, then, yeah, that would really only be Pittsburgh and Boston. I'd like to go to Pittsburgh. It was fun. I enjoyed it. A lot of bridges. City of bridges. That's not. All right. <laughs> Mike, you're next. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, I know you went to Greece. Yep. Yeah, it's like the only interesting one. Really? Yeah. I thought you went to like Florida and shit. Well, yeah, but it's like all of them have been like family vacations. Well, that still counts. Greece was too, but I mean, fucking dope sauce. Isn't Greece like mm-hmm. when you see those pictures of those resorts where it's like the white shit up like the going up the side the of the mountain? The white shit. I think no, you're, I you you might be talking about. about the Amalfi Coast in Italy. Uh, I don't no, know. No, that's, uh, <laughs> that's like all the islands in Greece. Yeah. Like all the houses are painted like that. Awesome. Yeah. And then, like, you're floating in your little pool on, like, a cliffside. <laughs> <laughs> Is that that's where so you went? Cool. Well, you went to go see... F- you stayed with family, right? Yeah, then... That's pretty cool. Then that we was went... Middle school? We, we spent, like, a whole... Yeah, it was seventh grade. But we spent, like, a whole week, like, going, like, around the family, like, on, like, the actual, like, mainland. And then we spent a whole week on the one island, which is, like... Wait, what's, what's that other island that went bankrupt? Cyprus? Did you hear I mean, about the whole country went yeah. bankrupt? Yeah, but I know Cyprus specifically, they went so bankrupt that they said, like, if you don't get your money out of the bank set tomorrow at 12, the country was taking the money <laughs> and emptying it out of every citizen's bank yeah, account it's like, I don't two know, years ago or so. Because it got, like, extremely bad. I don't even, like, know how it is right now. But, like, supposedly the economy was so bad that, like, People had nothing, but there was people from other countries, like neighboring countries, just coming in and just like robbing people. Fuck! Wow! Wow! But, what yeah. do they eat there? Food. What is Greek? What yeah, is Greek Greek lamb? Food? Right? Is, a lot yeah, of lamb. Yeah, lamb. Mm. Lamb. What does Yaya cook? <laughs> <laughs> Could we tell a fun story about Yaya? Oh my god! Your Greek grandparents. The speed bump. Yeah, it's a good story. <laughs> One day when we were in middle school, my grandmother was taking me, him, and his older brother to somewhere to our friend Tommy's, and I guess she didn't know what like the speed bump sign was. Or... I just 
don't think she saw it at all. <laughs> so she took us over the speed bump at like a solid 45 miles an hour. <laughs> oh, my God. And gosh. we just fucking went airborne. And her, his <laughs> older brother... Scre- Buick. Yeah. Like his old, old school Buick. <laughs> his older brother screaming at her. She doesn't know what she did wrong or what happened. Like, all right, it's so for, terrible. For you to picture her, it's like she's like five foot four. <laughs> She sits on like a couple pillows <laughs> on the seat and she sits this close to the ceiling. <laughs> she took the speed bump down. So if that airbag God forbid if that airbag went off, she'd probably be oh, fucking God. dead. Yeah. Oh my god. Terrifying. Jeez Louise. Kevin, where'd you took a sharp turn? Venture to Disney once. Never been. <laughs> in two thousand and three. <laughs> oh, all I wanted to say though, if you ever get a chance to go to Chicago though, like every place has amazing food. You went, oh, you, oh, that's right. You went to Chicago. Yeah. You always love that place. My thing is, before you could go back on what you were saying, 2003, why does everyone take everybody when they're little? When they don't remember. Yeah, when yeah. they can't appreciate shit. Like, all of our parents took us places when we were so much younger. I would have much rather later in life. Think about how how much less it could cost when you take a kid somewhere versus taking you who's going to go out <laughs> to a restaurant and fucking suck down. I don't know, cashier. though, because it's like you have to... Like kids, you have to, you have to keep occupied yeah. the whole time and shit. On, it depends on where it is you're going. Like something like Disney, obviously. Well, I guess the other thing too is probably ten years ago for all of us, it was so much cheaper than yeah. And also, shit is most now. families like even like it doesn't really make sense to me, but it, no, I guess it does. Like when we're younger, like our parents, like I feel like our parents had more money. Yeah. Also, so. yeah. yeah. I guess. Right. So 2003, Kevin. Well, yeah, no, I was just a family Disney World Disney trip. My youngest brother is actually because he was born in 2000, so he's actually he was pretty mad. Like when he <laughs> oh, really? came to realize that we actually went on it. He was three years old and had no Couldn't idea where the hell he was. Year of the Dragon. Uh, one of the Near coolest. The one of the coolest vacations we went on. We went on an all inclusive to Mexico. I was in, done that. That was awesome. I think I forget what grade I was in. It was like sixth or seventh grade or something. It was that was insane. Like, I <laughs> wish I was older because. Were you? Did you drink at that point? Or? <laughs> no, yeah. no, I wasn't old enough. Yeah. Um, there was a, an um, incredible poolside bar, yeah, the swim up bar. <laughs> Dude, I uh, and there were kids like cool. on spring break and stuff there, like going nuts, and I was like, wow, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's the dream. That's where I want it. That's what I want to be. But uh, I, I just remember like when we would wake up and go to brunch in the morning. There was like this. It was like almost like a giant wooden pier that like stretched out over this clear ass water that you'd go out and I just stuff my face with <laughs> anything you could think of it oh my god it was amazing sounds great yeah, See, then, like, i never knew you went on that trip learning a lot at this table um and then yeah, i've been i've made several trips out to arizona because it's i have family out there so anytime whether it was like graduating high school or so there's i have three cousins out there now so is you, do you just eat at food trucks every time you go there <laughs> <laughs> no actually my question is the heat because I'm not a man that deals oh, with is. heat. See, that the thing about... But it's dry heat. Right? Yeah. That's what it's I want different. to experience, though. No, so. no, that's what people say. Uh, that's <laughs> how grease is. Like, it was like... That's, well, they, they try to, like... They'll, they'll say dry heat, whatever, but 115, regardless of whether it's dry or <laughs> liquid. <laughs> so aren't you just, that's that's <laughs> what I was going to say, though. It's like, still hot. I don't know, like... Because that's how it is. In, like, the heat is in Greece. It's like the dry heat. But, like, they had a heat wave when we were there. So it was like 105 and stuff. Like, I've never been it, anywhere over like, 100. Like, like, it was hot as fuck. But, like, it wasn't like you couldn't breathe. But what does that mean, though? Because I just profusely sweat, like, it's just now. Hot. Like, uh, it's just hot as balls. Yeah, but, like, the humid heat that we have here, it's like it feels It suffocates heavy on you. you. Uh, like, yeah. yeah. It's just. So is it, like, sticky? Like, no. that's sticky. No, it doesn't it's feel not like that, that sticky. That's, that's, that's the opposite. Oh, okay. That. No, it's not. It's like standing in front of a heater because that's getting hot like, that uh, way. I just don't know if I could do it. No, it's and it's the cool than the, humid heat. the cool yeah. thing about Arizona is that it's still like to this day being developed and stuff out there. So anything that's like built out there is looks brand, brand new, new yeah. and it's like everything's it's it's pretty cool. I mean, then you have the just barren. Yeah, I just want to go out there to take pictures. There, and yeah, no, you yeah. get some yeah. good stuff out there, no doubt. Shoot some guns. You could just go out into. <laughs> I could just see you with a cowboy hat with two forty four popping off. Hey, it, is, it is so weird because we went when I was out there the most recent time. So it was back in. It was almost a year ago now in May of last year. Yeah, because that's where I'll piggyback off you because that's where we meet up. Yeah, we went. Uh, 
kayaking, but it's weird because like when we we drive out to like this ranch of like the guy who organizes all the stuff, but you're just driving. It's all residential. Like there's houses and stores and stuff everywhere, and then you just reach a cutoff point, and it's just nothing. And you're out in these mountains. You're driving through all these mountains and stuff. There's sand everywhere and cacti. <laughs> um, it's crazy. But then you get to this ranch and we're going down. And it's, it was like the most. And my cousin was like acting like it was no big deal because it's just something they do a lot or whatever. I don't know. But it was like the scenic freaking ride down the. Oh, my God. It was so cool. <laughs> Want to do it? And then we forgot the beer though on our kayak trip, so it was just Oof, we were just. And there was a point where we were just floating down this river, and we were like, <laughs> right, well, "Can we just get done?" <laughs> <laughs> well, so your story's piggy, right? In, uh, do you have any other vacations uh, before I cut you off? I'm Outer Banks. I've been there once. That was pretty cool. Just a beach town, but been up to different. Mass a couple times. Uh, nothing really yeah. too crazy. So that was the coolest. So Kevin's last Arizona trip that. He mentioned he left Arizona instead of going home with his parents, met me in San Francisco. Yeah. So I'll start there and then go backwards because that was like my most recent big trip, I think. And uh, I was in Putacana. And then that night got. Did you just go to Boston? Yeah, that too. But so we went in San Francisco and got to watch the kind of funny people that you, you know, worship. That's a strong word, but <laughs> definitely inspired in the reason why I wanted to do. All this myself. So that was a really cool trip. I mean, Kevin just kind of, we just didn't like give a fuck. We just like, yeah, we just ventured around. (laughs) We figured it out. Like, I don't know. That's cool. It was very. God for Lyft and Uber. Yeah. We used a lot of that. But it was so cool because we didn't have like a strict agenda. Mm -hmm. We kind of just did whatever the fuck we wanted to, which was different than a normal vacation where like you're going here and here and here and here. Where did you guys stay? At a Hilton, the Hilton, Hilton. in Union Square, oh, wow. dead center of Which homeless <laughs> in Homelessville. <laughs> like the was not a big spot, regardless. Like San yeah, Francisco. San Francisco yeah. is like it has the highest like homeless. And, uh, rate. I think Boston does too. Actually, I think so. It's, it was just scary because I it's actually so cold. like we were driving, and we were in an Uber going somewhere. I don't know where we were going, and I looked off, and there was like a <laughs> department store, and there was this big parking lot with no cars in it. And there's a woman like in Dirty the middle Mike of this parking lot, s- s- squatting over a bucket. <laughs> she probably was—I don't know what the hell she was taking doing. a dunker. You know what she was, she was taking a dunk. But yes, that's what I, I witnessed. <laughs> something like that. So yeah. But as soon as we got there, there was like we had to walk through the valet to get to the room. Oh yeah. yeah. And funny. it was like it was like five o'clock. It's still light out, but it's like an hour within darkness, and we wanted to go to the liquor store across the street. And the valet guy's like, "Hey, where are you guys going?" I was, we're like, "Oh, we're going to the store." He's like. Be careful out there. We're like, it's right the why street. are you saying that to <laughs> us? Like, at, where are we? We're five feet. Um, so I did that. I've been a lot of places. But then, I hate there, remember you. We I were, hate you. Remember we were sitting in Golden Gate Park just getting trashed? Yeah. <laughs> just we're sitting there drinking Captain and Coke. <laughs> <laughs> we're in this park. There's all these people with the dogs, and we're, we're just, we're just drinking. Sitting there, we were sitting there people watching, just yeah. drinking. It was a good day. Nuts. Beautiful. <laughs> nice gardens. Must be a great story. I just started tearing up out of nowhere. See, so it was so beautiful. <laughs> the Golden Gate Bridge was incredible. Yes, we walked. We were gonna walk across it, and we got halfway across. We were <laughs> like, said, no, no, it's too far. <laughs> um, I went to Pujacana with Babe. That was that was dope. All inclusive. Didn't have to worry about nothing. Which also that costed less than a two day trip. Yeah, to San uh, let that let that let the record show. <laughs> Me and Kevin went to San Francisco for two nights. And that trip was more expensive than my five night, six a day, all inclusive the Putacana. That's broken. <laughs> That's that is completely broken in this world. <laughs> um, I went to Cape Town, South Africa, which was the most beautiful Stuck place I've like ever been. <laughs> That's one hundred percent true. Actually, no, isn't uh, South it's Africa ve- it's, a lot of? It's white very white, but I'm very pasty. <laughs> so <laughs> there's that. The cool thing was we uh, when we climbed the tallest one of the nat the seven wonders in the world the one mountain there uh we yeah, get up there sick pictures we, uh, i think it's my twitter background but there there one guy had like a phillies cap on and we're like oh where are you from he's like i'm right from philadelphia huge eagles fan i was like i'm about to push you off this mountain <laughs> and like we kind of had that little report but it's like fuck we're all the way literally 20 hours on a plane away and you know you see people um oh, excuse me that you like or no 
Um, coming back from that trip was one of the worst things ever. Where it was a seven hour trip to Amsterdam and then eleven hours down. So I did the eleven hours to Amsterdam coming home. Me and my buddy were like, let's go get some McDonald's. We're hungry. An hour into the seven hour plate to Amsterdam. Tell me. <laughs> that would have been and cool I if got you planned the trip to uh Amps- yeah, to so stay there for a little bit. We had like three hours and we're we were gonna do it, but it was like we That's could go see risky, it for like we could see it for like an hour maybe, roll, but it was too much risky. That was the plan, but it never came to fruition. <laughs> but hour into that flight, the food poisoning hit, and I was ruined. Yikes. I had to go to the bathroom every five minutes, Wait, and that was you, so awful. Part of the uh, the other Mile High Club, I guess. Whatever that entails, <laughs> I was the partner of that bathroom, and there was a guy next to me that I had to keep climbing over. That. I guess he was addicted to cigarettes, so his method was that he had a vape pen, but you can't do that on the plane. So he had an inflatable neck roll. So he, like he would he would he would hit the vape, and then he would blow it into inflate the, the <laughs> oh neck roll, gosh. and then stop. I couldn't believe it. It was I I gave him all the credit in the world. I didn't care. And then the scary part was on this same flight, um, someone almost died because this poor we were. Like it was like a four person thing, so it was this guy, vape guy, me, the girl on my trip, and then two kids, and then the parents on the other side, and the mom had like a, I think I don't know if it was like a panic attack or s- a- <laughs> that was a bad motion, <laughs> but she had like an anxiety attack, and she like fainted, and like luckily they were like, is anyone there's freaking out? They're like, is it their doctor on board? Is their doctor on board? And there was a doctor on board. Should have gave her Xanax. They should have. But the poor kids, they're speaking Dutch because we were on a Dutch airline. And the kids are like screaming at us. And I'm like, I'm sorry, your mom. I don't know what to do here. Anytime someone says Dutch, I just, I can't help but picturing like a little Dutch boy with like a bull. <laughs> yeah. <and> suspenders. <laughs> so there was Cape Town. I went to Mexico twice a part of the school trip to the Mayan ruins and stuff and then once to an all inclusive with my family. Uh I did Universal as a young child. I did England, Ireland and Wales in seventh grade, but for twenty days, which I would love to do now because I didn't appreciate, appreciate it. it like I would now. There's a story with uh one of those places, right? A hole in the wall or something like oh, that. Oh, there's that story. <laughs> um <laughs> uh. it was like the last <laughs> week of the trip and for some reason my obsession on the trip was i'm gonna put my foot up on walls and then jump back off of it you know to get air <laughs> and uh we were in the elevator corridor at at a hostel like the last it was like probably the seventh to the last day so we're bored waiting for the elevator i'm like all right i'm just gonna do my foot thing <laughs> it went through the wall and there's a hole <laughs> the size of two yeah, watermelons. Why was that a fad in your life? Of, of <laughs> I don't know. I was so young and dumb. And I was a good kid, kind of. So I was That's like, a huge yeah, uh, kind of. I mean, I was good enough where I didn't just leave it. I went down. I told the counselor, I was like, uh, I, I, I was like, I fucked up. And he was <laughs> like, what? I was like. Just you gotta super, say, super kick the wall. So this was like a trip for good kids. So they said they had to call Washington State from England to see if I could even stay a part of the trip. And if I couldn't, that my dad would have had to pay for a plane ticket to fly wow. me wow. and one of the counselors home because I couldn't legally fly by myself back. So they allowed me to stay. My dad had to pay for the hole in the wall, which was like f- either four or eight hundred dollars. I don't remember it's what he paid nuts. with the pounds. And uh, for the rest of the trip, I had to shadow a counselor. <laughs> So, was that, was that the end of that maneuver? That yeah, you... I think it, it died there. <laughs> oh, my foot Good. went. <laughs> my foot went through this the wall. Happened for a reason. Do you do you ever get like a sudden urge? <laughs> every time I see, <laughs> every time I see a nice curve, I just <laughs> want to hop right off. But yeah, I went to Boston too. Recent, very recently, that was very cool. Met some old neighbors. Shout out. But the traveling is not done. We, I will go very far, and hopefully stay there. Oh yeah, Serbia. <laughs> yeah. Serbia's next. It's on the list. <laughs> what? Why not? Why? Because have you ever met anyone who went to Serbia? No. I met a Serbian. There's, I, a, I, there's I, probably a reason. <laughs> there's probably a good reason for that. I could say I went. They probably end up in the Serbian prison. Well, I won't. 
putting no holes offense. in walls. <laughs> Any Serb- Serbian, Serbian yeah. listener. I don't know if we have Russian listeners yet. I'll have to check. Uh, we might not be able to get into Russia pretty soon. So World War Three. And on that note, we will end <laughs> said yeah. talk time on the most dire of notes. We'll be back with the Would You Rather in a minute. Thank you guys for watching or listening. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash foreplay video. If you like what we're doing, make sure to smash that like button. Be sure to share all our videos with your friends so we can uh, continue to grow. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.